today. However, this one is going to be a little bit more special than other videos, a little bit, a little bit more unique. Let me just run through the things that I have with me before we get on to the main event. Um, firstly, I have this mason jar. Nice and big. Big for putting something into. Nice rubber seal, solid. I might just, I'm just thinking like, I might have to sort of super glue that on if necessary. We'll see how it goes. Uh, right in front of me here, I have a tub of formaldehyde. Let me just read you the instructions. Uh, possible risk, the, the very first sentence, possible risk of irreversible effects. May cause sensitization by skin contact. Eye contact, rinse immediately with plenty of water and seek medical advice. Wear suitable protective clothing and gloves. In case of accident or if unwell, seek medical advice immediately. Show label where possible. Um, if you don't know what formaldehyde is, I'm not like an expert on it, but it literally just says anti-parasite treatment for koi. Koi fish, that would be. Um, treatment for a white spot. Uh, is that trichondia, costia, and psilodonella? I don't know how to pronounce that last word. Basically, it's treatment for fish parasite. And also, if you don't know, a really good preserve for um, biological things. Okay, so on to the main event. Uh, let me just show you the side of this box first, then you might. Yeah, it's not fit for human consumption. And um, yeah, it is biological. You can tell by the signs, by the uh, symbols. So basically I'm gonna open this up for you guys. Um, caution, this box contains real organ specimen. Yeah, that's right, it's happening. I'm gonna, very, I'm gonna be very gentle. I don't wanna bruise or damage the item in the box. I'm not going to lift it up and show you guys the box anyway I mean. Everything's going to be sat on the floor. I'm going to be very gentle because I, I'm kind of just tearing into it. I am not a doctor. Okay, she's open. <clears throat> the heart. So basically, in this box, I have a human heart. There are some diagrams. The picardium. I don't even know what that is. The great vessels and chambers of the heart. Aor aortic aneurysm. The conducting system of the heart. Artificial pacemaker, the vascular, the vasculature of the heart, coronary, coronary artery disease. Right, anyways. <laughs> okay, we have another piece of paper. Your specimen has been prepared by our team of human anatomists. It's actually sourced, prepared and dispatched as food stuff. And therefore you can actually eat the product after you've finished dissecting it. Brackets, we strongly recommend you don't. Fried brains on toast for all, exclamation mark. I'm not. <clears throat> nope. The specimen is vacuum packed, frozen, stored and dispatched below five degrees. Once it reaches you, please ensure you refrigerate the product and keep it no longer than three days. It can be refrozen for up to six months, adding greater shelf life. Please store and handle as you would all raw meat. Once ready to dissect, here's what you need. One chopping board, plastic chopping board, one pair of scissors and one kitchen knife. We advise putting a towel or cloth on the surface, on the surfaces to protect them. Once ready, put on your PPE and log into the live online center for your live online. Please ensure you don't close the browser during the clip. Blah, 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 blah. 
if refrigerated, dissect and dispose by. I'm not going to dispose it. Win a free box, absolutely not. Oh my goodness. Right, so we have, we, we, genuine have, we genuinely have PPE. Oh God, there it is. Oh God. Um, safety goggles. We got gloves. We got a mask. What's that, a hairnet. And lo just loads and loads of gloves. Loads of gloves. Lots of gloves. Lots of gloves, hairnet, beard snood, whatever. And a g face mask. Yeah, I am gonna wear this. Fucking here we go. Um, <laughs> and um, yeah, in this uh, is the heart. I'm gonna go and grab a towel, or a towel, to put down. Um, or even in fact, like I do have a couple of plastic bags wrapping and kind of sitting around me down here. I think I'm gonna do it that way because um, then I'll just throw the whole bag away. Right, like, like if I had a towel with a heart on it and then I'm like drying my hair, I'll be like, there is literally a human heart touching. Nah, nah in the bin, burn it, kill it with fire. So uh, yeah, I guess I'll, I'll put this bag in front of me. And um, we'll get the PPE, PPE on. Now it's been recommended. Yeah, it's been recommended that I rinse the heart in the formaldehyde. Um, on the on the topic of formaldehyde, I do have all the windows open, so I apologise for any background noise. It does say to use within a, a ventilated area. Um, do I need this? Beard snood. Do I need this, really? Fuck it. Uh, what's this for? Okay, this is a, this, 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 that's the disposable bag, and then we have the gloves, okay. Right, where are my scissors at? Okay, I've got my scissors. I don't have a plastic chopping board, because I'm not gonna cut it up. I'm gonna store it, and honestly, like, you know, if it stores well, then I'm gonna hang on to it. If it starts falling apart, then obviously I'm gonna have to chuck it. Um, obviously the guys who prep this heart don't know that I'm doing this and they probably won't condone it, but here we are. Okay, I'm just gonna take the formaldehyde lid off because I'm gonna cut because I don't want to be touching any, anything too much with like heart on my hands. <laughs> um, I don't want to put this on though because it looks kind of, oh God. Get it around my ears. I don't know, like what does a heart smell like? Is it just going to be raw meat? It's going to steam up my glasses. It's not very good PPA if I can't see. <laughs> That's just all beard. It's just all beard. My chin is like a bear. Anyway, I can't see. She's getting steamy. Can I tuck this under? I actually should have brought a towel, really. Right, they're de, de steaming, demisted. If I can get, if I can just tuck that under so. So they don't steam up while I'm mid-surgery. Still doing it. What a pain. Stop it! I mean, is this necessary? I'm not cutting it or nothing. Anyway, fuck it. Let's get in there. Right. This is happening. Where do you start? How do you get in? If needs be, oh shit, she's open. What's that? Oh, that's okay. Um, where's the other little? So we got one layer off. Get rid of that sticky stuff. 
I just need to find the other. If I can get it. Or just cut through it, I guess, with scissors. I'm trying, still trying to be gentle. And um, yeah, so when I put this on display, for now it will go into the jar. I'll probably just sit at the bottom. Um, I do have some invisible wire, some invisible thread on the way, and then I'll reopen the jar and sort of like string the heart up so that when it's on display, it'll hopefully, the, the idea is that it will sit in the, the middle of the jar and sort of like float there if you will, but it'll, it'll obviously be held up by this string, which will be invisible. There's some, just another one to cut through here. I'm not even into the bag yet. Right. Let's have a goosey at this heart. I hope it's not too liquidy. There's, I hope there's not too much blood. Yep. Oh, it's bloody all right. So it's in a vacuum packed bag. Um, I'm probably gonna get a couple of bags because it is like, there's a lot of blood. I will show you. Probably like viewer discretion advised, not safe for work. This is I'm literally holding a heart in my hand right now. Okay, there is a literal heart in my hand. It is bloody. Um, so if you don't want to see it, please look away now. Disclaimer, disclaimer, etc., etc. Yeah, three, two. One. Me. Human heart. Um. Okay. So, what we're gonna do is, I'm probably going to cut the vid. I'm gonna go and open this in the sink, drain out all the fluid, wash it in formaldehyde, and then we'll pick up again. Yeah. Sound like a plan? I think so. It's very cold. Anyway, guys. Human heart <laughs> with a day dot on it. Tuesday. What the fuck? Tuesday prepped on the 27th of the 11th, I presume. Uh, yeah. I don't even. I don't think I need this. I think this is overkill. Right, BRB. Okay, folks. Um, we've washed it in the formaldehyde and I'm actually going to keep this on Whew. Uh, because the formaldehyde like it stinks well not stinks it's um, strong very strong so I'm actually going to keep this on just to make keep myself right you know um, the heart is out, out of the bag um, I sort of have some I'm a little bit bloody on one hand but the other hand is the main holder of the heart if you will one for dry, one for wet. So please, again, if your discretion is advised, I, I literally just held it up and I'm just, just looking down an artery. Uh, it's weird, it's a bit surreal this, I'm not a surgeon. Anyway, if your discretion is advised, I am gonna show it, okay? So if you don't wanna see it, please look away now. We got three, two, one, boop. Human heart. Yep. Uh, I'm glad I put the bag down, it is dripping with formaldehyde. So here we are, and we have, like I said, I was looking down the vent there when I lifted it. I mean, we can squeeze that open and have a look inside. You know? Um, probably a lot of people are freaking out, like, why are you not freaking it, it feels like me, you know? It's not that big a deal. I'm not really bothered by it. Um, I don't know if this is a healthy heart or a bad heart whatever whatever anyway I'm gonna get this in the formaldehyde before it starts like going mental uh, but yeah here we go again you ready human heart there you are it's got a little bit of fat on it I guess and I can't believe I actually said you can <laughs> I can't believe like you could cook and eat this they said that it's a bit mad it's got it seems to have some sort of puncture wounds in it if we look here if we could, you know, here and there, I guess. I don't really know. Don't really know what that's for. And it's obviously, it's obviously been sliced. I think this is very obviously been sliced open. 
might have been my scissors, I'm not sure. I could have, I don't, I didn't really feel it go through. Don't really know. Pretty neat though, and then there's some more punctures on the back. I guess they pu probably pump it full of something. I'm not gonna squeeze it. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's quite hard actually. Like it's meaty, but then you can feel like hardness behind it. <sighs> kind of mad, isn't it? Kind of crazy. One more time. One more time. Three, two, one. Human heart. Hands are just covering it. My hands look bloody. Okay, let's be honest here. They look bloody. Okay, that's not a good example. They look bloody, but it is mostly because the formaldehyde is dripping off. Okay, so it's not it's not that bad. I want to try and just move this jar over without getting blood everywhere. I don't want blood on the outside of it. But then I do want to open it. Yeah, fuck it. And just go and wipe it off. Jar lid is open. I'll move it back over here. Oh no! Got blood on the carpet! <laughs> oh, I've got blood on the carpet. That's it, ruined, man. I'm gonna do this on the on the on the plastic bag that I've put down. So I'm just gonna pour the formaldehyde in. Once this stuff starts moving, you really smell it. Like when it's just sitting in its bottle, it's like, ah, eh, it's not actually that bad. But once you start running it, or pouring it, I should say is the word, and you really get that smell. I don't even, I couldn't even describe it. Anyway, so the jar is full of formaldehyde. I'm probably gonna, definitely gonna have to buy more because it's not enough. Try to get as much air out of the jar as you can. Um, and then squeeze the heart in. It is going to touch the sides. Oh, get in there. Get in there, little dickens. To be fair, the heart might overflow it. So it actually might have worked out well. Okay, so the heart looks about three times bigger in the formaldehyde. I will show you in a second. I'm just letting it I'm just letting it fill with formaldehyde because it's kind of floating at the minute. You know like so you've got yeah it's, li <laughs> it's literally floating to the top of the formaldehyde. I'm just gonna give it a squeeze try and hopefully fill it with formaldehyde. I hope that's what I'm trying to do. Make, make it sink a bit. No, no, it's gonna float. Maybe if I just give it some time, it'll it'll do it itself. Anyway, from all hide everywhere, everywhere. Let me just drip my fingers off a bit. The heart looks massive in the formaldehyde. I'm oh, it's, oh, sorry. It's like getting them. Um, it's like getting cut onions in your eyes. It makes it water. Ooh, I'm alright now. Ah. Oh. It's quite, it does, it does sting quite a bit. That PPE would be good right now. Right, I'm gonna get the lid on because my eyes. Okay, right, we are in. I'm not gonna take the gloves off just yet because there is blood on the outside of the jar. It's alright. It's stinging my eyes a little bit, just. I'll put the lid back on the formaldehyde. Formaldehyde case. Well, I think I'm alright. Uh, okay. So, I'm gonna lift it up from the sides because can you imagine if I lift it up by the lid? The lid comes off. So, here we are. We have a preserved heart. Doesn't it look massive though? Now, we've both seen it. We all seen it without the um, without being in the formaldehyde. I think I need just a touch more, just to cover it, because I think yeah the top the top is exposed, which isn't great. That'll be open to the air, and then it'll probably rot. And um, but yeah, here we go. <laughs> that is the unboxing for today. 
Um, thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the video. I sure actually enjoyed doing it. That was a bit surreal, if anything. All right. Woo. Um, yeah, I will keep you posted on how this goes. Um, yep. There you go. Heart in a jar. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Please come again. I'll see you again next time. Love ya.